Hello. Meet my friend hey, Dali. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. She was my inspiration for Roxy in my book Sortera. Friends come in all shapes and sizes, but sometimes even age. Go figure. Are you recording me? Hi, I'm Maite, and I'm the author of the book Sortera. Sometimes when things don't work out, they actually end up working out for the best. I welcome you and your friends to my world of Sortera. This is our time. Friends are the backbone in our lives. In Julia's case, they're her strength. When she got divorced and you lose people, you know, you lose custody of some of your friends. They were friends with your ex and there's these voids that are created that that kind of need filling. It's a part of your personality, a part of your, your trust circle, your circle of life, as you call it. Um, when writing about Julia's friends, I found it very difficult to disconnect myself from my own friends. Um, I have friends in my life that have been there for a long time, and I have friends that have been there for much less time. But there's a purpose for everybody. There's a reason for people in your life and you need to embrace it. You know, these are your friends and they're a part of who you become and who you are. And that's it. We have to be good and quiet in here because there's a lot of people today. So family comes first, but a lot needs to be said about friends. So I thought I would define the friend by the dictionary. Here goes. A person with one whom knows and with one whom has a bond of mutual affection typically exclusive of sexual or family relations. Synonyms are companion, intimate, confidant, familiar, soulmate, alter ego, shadow. Okay, throwing in some Spanglish ones in there. Um, Emanida, which is friend, with actually sister. Uh, pana, which means buddy, and consorte. We won't get into that one, but I wanted to share a little bit of my friends with you. So here's a tribute to them. Enjoy. I would like to stress again the fact that family always comes first. Nothing replaces the love of a child, a parent, a sibling, and so forth. But remember, friends are chosen. So it's important to choose well, even though sometimes life chooses for us. We're a reflection of the people that we have around us. So if we aren't perfect, why do our friends have to be perfect? They only have to be perfect for us. And that's it. I did want to say though that this episode has to do with friends, but just like friends could become like family, I wanted to say that family are always friends. At least mine are. I wanted to give a shout out to my kids. Um, I love you munchkins. And as always, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe and come visit me at www.sorteraat50.com. Bye.